Welcome to Senior High School Mathematics. Let us have pre-calculus. And this time, we're going to derive the equation of a hyperbola. Before we continue, let us recall an important concept that is material in deriving the equation of the hyperbola. And that is the distance between two points on a rectangular coordinate system. The distance d between two points x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2 plotted on a rectangular coordinate system is given by d is equal to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. We're going to derive the equation of the hyperbola using its definition or based on its definition. Hence, let us define the hyperbola. A hyperbola is the set of points P in a plane such that the difference of the distances of each point P of the set from two fixed points is in the plane is a constant. The two fixed points are the foci of the hyperbola. In deriving the equation of the hyperbola, we take the origin midway between the foci and the coordinate axis on the line through the foci. In here, we're going to use the x-axis. So we have the y-axis and the origin. Let f prime be one of the foci at negative c0 and f the other at c0. From the definition, the hyperbola is a set of points P on the plane. So let us have an arbitrary point P to the right of the y-axis with coordinates x, y. The difference between the distance f prime p and the distance f p is what was mentioned in the definition of the hyperbola. Hence, in here we have the absolute value of f prime p minus absolute value of f p is equal to 2a. Let 2a be the constant mentioned in the definition. Depending on the position of P, we have the difference of the distances as positive if it is to the right of the y-axis. If it is to the left of the y-axis, F prime P would be shorter than the distance F P. Hence, we have F prime P minus absolute value of fp is equal to negative 2a. And combining the two equations, we have absolute value of f prime p minus absolute value of fp is equal to positive negative 2a. Using the distance between two points formula, we can have f prime p that is the square root of x plus c squared that is from x minus negative c. So we have x plus c squared plus y squared minus the square root of x minus c squared plus y squared is equal to positive negative 2a. From the resulting equation in the previous slide, we're going to derive the equation of the hyperbola. And we're going to use concepts and techniques in solving radical equation. So we're going to add the square root of x minus c squared plus y squared to both sides of the equation. So we have square root of x plus c squared plus y squared equals positive negative 2a plus square root of x minus c squared plus y squared. To get rid of the radical symbol in the left hand side of the equation, we're going to square both sides of this equation. Also, we're going to expand x plus c squared, the square of binomial. So we have x squared plus 2cx plus c squared plus y squared equals 4a squared plus minus 4a times the square root of x minus c squared plus y squared plus x squared minus 2cx plus c squared plus y squared. Adding the negative of x squared minus c 
squared minus y squared to both sides of this resulting equation. We have x squared minus x squared, that is 0. c squared minus c squared is 0. y squared minus y squared is 0. Also, let us add 2cx to both sides of this resulting equation. So we have 4cx equals 4a squared plus minus 4a times the square root of x minus c squared plus y squared. Dividing all terms of this resulting equation by 4, we have cx is equal to a squared plus minus a times the square root of x minus c squared plus y squared. Let us add the negative of a squared to both sides. And again, let us square both sides so that we can get rid of the radical symbol. In the left-hand side, we will have c squared x squared minus 2a squared cx plus a raised to the fourth power. In the right-hand side of the equation, we will have a squared times the quantity, expanding the binomial x minus c squared, x squared minus 2cx plus c squared plus y squared close quantity. By distributive property, right-hand side will have a squared x squared minus 2a squared cx plus a squared c squared plus a squared y squared. Adding 2a squared cx to both sides of the equation, we'll have negative 2a squared cx plus 2a squared cx equal to 0. Hence, we have c squared x squared plus a to the fourth equals a squared x squared plus a squared c squared plus a squared y squared. Rearranging the terms in this resulting equation using the addition property of equality, we will have c squared x squared minus a squared x squared minus a squared y squared equals a squared c squared minus a raised to the fourth power. We can factor x squared, so we have c squared minus a squared, open and close parenthesis, times x squared. And in the right hand side, we can factor a squared, so that we have a squared times the quantity c squared minus a squared. Just like what we did in the derivation of the equation for the ellipse, we're going to set another variable to represent c squared minus a squared. This time, let us let b squared be equal to c squared minus a squared. And then substituting b squared equals c squared minus a squared, we will have b squared x squared minus a squared y squared equals a squared b squared. Dividing both sides of this resulting equation by a squared b squared will have in the first term b squared over b squared is 1. In the second term we have a squared over square, a squared equals 1. And in the right hand side a squared b squared over a squared b squared is equal to 1. The division is allowable if c squared minus a squared is not equal to 0. In the plotting of the points in on the rectangular coordinate system, the triangle F prime PF is formed where 2C is one side of that triangle and the difference of the other two sides as we derive or as we assume, is 2a. Hence, c is greater than a, and c squared minus a squared is greater than c. Hence, we have the equation of the hyperbola as x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1. This equation is formed when we let the foci of the hyperbola be on the x-axis of the rectangular coordinate system. 
deriving the equation of the hyperbola letting the foci be on the y-axis of the rectangular coordinate system, we will have y squared over a squared minus x squared over b squared equal to 1. Properties of the hyperbola will be discussed in the next presentation together with the standard equation of the hyperbola when the center is not at the origin. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more math lessons. Thank you.